Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It is time. Time for me to take my 15th 5 star to rank 5. Who will it be? Now, before we do that, let's take a look at why I have chosen to take up a 5 star at this time. Take a look at my overflow. Look at the catalyst. We're getting to them. There we go. Look at that. I've got a bunch of T2 alphas and look at the T5 basics. I've got two T5 basics in my overflow and a bunch of T2 alphas. So it's time. Now I had plenty of time. I didn't have to do this. They weren't about to expire or anything, but I am not a procrastinator, at least when it comes to these kinds of things. So I wanted to do it before it became critical. So who will it be? Let us think, look over, and it's going to be that guy. Hyperion is going up to rank five. Now, if you had asked me, even not that long ago, whether Hyperion was worth a rank five, I would have told you no. This was, you know, quite a while ago, but things changed, the meta changed, and if you've been following my channel, you know that I've used Hyperion in several pieces of content. He is very useful. Now, one of the reasons and the main reason that it's taken me so long to take Hyperion up is because I run suicides. Now he's pretty good with suicides. He's not what I would call suicide friendly, but because he can heal uh, and he's poison immune, I would say that he is more suicide friendly than quite a number of others. All right, so we're going to take a look here at his uh, details, his attributes as a five star rank five champion. All right, so get a look there. And we are then going to uh, take a look at his synergies. You know, just, just briefly, we're not going in-depth or anything. Hyperion is not a new champion. So there's no reason to go in-depth. But some people may not have seen him. Uh, they may not have seen his abilities or anything like that. He's pretty straightforward and simple. If you've seen all the newer champions coming out, their abilities pages is long. But you can see his... Pretty straightforward and short. Uh, not a lot of people know that he has a heal, that he actually can heal. And we're going to see that in a moment. Of course, we're going to go into Realm of Legends and beat on Winter Soldier. And you will get a chance to see his healing in action. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So we're going in here. Only Hyperion, no synergies. Uh, he really doesn't need him. Uh, he's a beast. Now, I used to take Hyperion into war with me all the time. Uh, he was definitely my go-to. All right, so the basic strategy when fighting with Hyperion is to get those heavy attacks off. All right, and as you can see there, his heavy attacks give him furies. Those Furies have a high potency, okay? Uh, so the more Furies, his damage goes through the roof. Now, because he is not quite suicide friendly, that recoil damage uh, can be vicious, but he can heal, all right? So I want to parry and then fire my heavies off. Uh, his special one, does quite a bit of damage. Uh, he also has a passive power gain. You see how much power he's gaining. He is crazy, all right? 
And look at that. On the special two, which gives a lot of damage, you also have a chance to stun. And see here, I'm just trying to build up those Furies. Got a nice stack of Furies. So let's see how much damage this special three does now. Uh, and I'm trying to cycle the special threes only because I'm running suicides and I was trying to take uh, as little recoil damage as possible. All right, now you see those three celestial charges there. That's the uh, yellow icon. That ramps up his damage even further. However, while he has three of them, if he dashes back and holds his block, he will, if he can, you know, be left alone in time, he will get a regen buff. And you are gonna see that. I'm not trying to get the fastest kill or the lowest hits or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys a little bit of what he can do. But his utility uh, is very, very um, useful. All right, so you see there, I got the regen buff. And so now I'm just gonna dance around and I don't want him to hit me because I want you guys to see how much he can heal. Just look at this. You saw where he was at before and boom, he is now back up to 100% health. Okay, I took those hits, but it doesn't matter because the regen is still going. It's a pretty long regen. So Hyperion is definitely worthy of a rank five, uh, especially if you're not running suicides and you have Hyperion, don't even hesitate. Now, one of the things that I like to do with him and why he's so useful, uh, I went up against a boss, I forget which, uh, uh, which boss it was. Um, I believe it was in Variant, but there was a boss that evaded a lot. It was a symbiote. And what you could do with Hyperion, and there you see the damage that his uh, special one can do, and that also is ramped up based on his Furies. So what I would do, because you have a passive power gain, you don't even have to hit them. So you could dance around, wait for the power uh, to give you a bar of power, and then intercept with the special one, and then just keep doing that. So he is very useful. All right, so that's gonna do it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video click like uh subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day